Now, one of the old, world's oldest zoos, the ZSL Zoo in London, has begun its annual census. It's a process where the zookeepers take a head count of all the animals within the premises of the zoo. Take a look at this poem. It's January 2022. The staff at Zoological Society of London have taken out the clipboards, calculators and cameras. For the traditional annual headcount at the world's oldest scientific zoo. It's called the ZSL London Zoo Annual Stock Take. A time when the zookeepers begin a head count of every single mammal, bird, reptile and invertebrate. The zoo holds more than 400 species and the count can take up to nearly a week. Apart from keeping a count, the animal stock taking is also a part of the zoo's license requirements. So today is the annual stock take at ZSL London Zoo. Um, the reality is we count the animals every single day as part of our job, but we also do a slightly more official one once per year, which is part of our zoo licensing. Um, and it's also a really important time for us to reflect on the concept of counting animals. It's really easy to count animals at the zoo in their lovely, safe environment, but it gives us a chance to reflect on the relevance of counting animals in, in times where wild populations are dwindling so much. For some zookeepers, the task is easier than others, depending on the kind of animal they are dealing with. The penguins seemed curious about the headcount, but they made things more difficult for the staff by turning up all at once. And the Asiatic lines turned into snuggly felines, making the zookeeper's task a playtime by rolling over for belly rubs. Calmer animals like Bactrian camels, Galapagos, tortoise and sloths were easy to count. But animals like monkeys had to be busy with play tools. In this case, Anabacus. So the keepers could do their head count. While the squirrel and Columbus monkeys showed their math skills. After the annual audit of more than 400 species, the data will be shared with other zoos around the world. The ZSL Zoo in London had lost over 20 million pounds during the lockdown last year. But it survived due to donations contributed by the people and a great number of visitors after reopening. COVID had a massive impact on, on London Zoo. A lot of people don't realise that we're a charity. We don't get government funding, so we lost well over £20 million. Um, we were incredibly grateful because so many people contributed through donation and still are. It's still possible to donate to the zoo to, to get us out of that financial hole that we were in. Um, one thing, though, that we've noticed is that the, the, the visitor behaviour is changing. People want an outdoor experience, and that's exactly what London Zoo is. So our visitor numbers have actually been quite healthy, and we're expecting them to be relatively robust through this winter as we then move into what would normally be our peak season of spring and summer. The newcomers this year were a Sumatran tiger cub, an Asiatic lion, a young sloth, three snappy big head turtles and three baby eastern black and white colobus monkeys. We report, We On World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.